Let's get it poppin'. What's my name? Is it yes? Come on. Oh yes, I'm here for Furry Friday. One more time. Oh yes. Sit back, relax, unwind. What's my name? Oh yes, I'm here for Furry Friday. One more time. Oh yeah. Sit back, relax, unwind. Oh yes. <laughs> That's for my true sasters right there. If you're new here, okay, go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe for this ponytail. That's what you need to do, child. Because, honey, I spent too much time putting this in my head. How? Z, how do you do this? Child, it's itching my face. It turned my eye red, honey. I couldn't do nothing with the drawstring. Let's just put it right here, okay? Let's just put it right here. <laughs> All right, let's just have it dangle, okay? I used to do a little thing called Full Refried here, if you knew, and that was my little song, okay? How y'all doing? Now, before y'all even say anything, child, and if you're new here, no, no, I don't wear my hair like this. This is a homage, okay, to Z and her ponytail child, all right? Now, I don't know how people walk around. People buy this. People buy this and actually walk around like this with this in their head. Child, it's itching me. Child, let's get into some news. A uh, you can't use, child. Speaking of Zaria, Zariah Z, listen. All right. Now they are going to be her and Troy are going to be in the upcoming season of Life After Lockup, which starts next week. This week is the season finale of Love After Lockup. That's why I got this dead um, beaver in my head, child. Several of my sassers done came in my comments and said that Z and Troy want to introduce another female into their marriage. Z, is that true, child? You trying to be a sister wife. You trying to be seeking sister wives or y'all just having a little fun fun? Are y'all trying to spice up y'all's marriage, introducing someone else into your marriage? What did your parents have to say about that? That don't seem very Christian. But y'all grown. But my question is, how are you going to handle a throuple when you had a full-blown fit over the baby mama and you insinuated that Troy may still have some type of feelings for the baby mama not that he just want to see his daughter am I getting it wrong y'all oh okay cause see allegedly y'all want to put another person into y'all's marriage y'all grown you can have 18 people in your marriage I just want to know how are you going to cope with him giving attention to another woman. How long y'all think that will last? Troy, y'all up in the bedroom trying to blow out her back? Your ponytail in the... You get furious. Troy do a little more kissing to the other lady than you. Oh, okay. She tired of y'all. She tired of y'all talking about her mental health. Okay? She said this. You can't scream mental health matters. She said this. You can't scream mental health matters. Then condemn or make fun of someone with a mental health diagnosis. You wouldn't make fun of someone with a physical disability. Why do we shame those with mental disabilities? Be careful how you treat people. Exclamation point. 
You know what, Z? You are absolutely right. We shouldn't shame anybody with any type of disability. But see, when we saw you on our television throwing a whole tantrum, screaming, yelling, cussing at your husband because of the baby mama and him going to see his daughter, we didn't know there was a mental health diagnosis. We seen a woman who was ranting and raving and screaming like a banshee. See, that's what we saw. Now, what came after that and what people said after that, look, I can't have, now. I, I don't know about that. I'm just speaking for myself. A mental di health diagnosis did not even come into my thinking. When I was looking at you cutting a shot. Have y'all subscribed yet? Huh? Have you subscribed? Shit. You better. <laughs> That's what you do. I'm trying to get to that 10K. Then she had a quote. By the poet herself. What mental health needs is more sunlight, more candor, and more unashamed conversation. Glenn Close. Girl. Z, I will see you and Troy on the season finale, and I will see you on Life After Lockup. Child, let's move on. Congratulations are in order. Oh, yes, it is. Shante and True are engaged. Wasn't y'all already engaged? And then True called off the engagement. Some decorations, y'all. He done went down there that good old party city. <laughs> and he done went down there that good old Kroger. And he done popped the question. I ain't mad at it. Now listen. If he's trying to do the right thing by Shante, I can't even be mad at it. Alright? They like it. They love it. Y'all were already engaged. And he done called it off one time. Shante, you sure about this? And when we gonna see those twins? Shouldn't you already have the twins? Where the twins at? Congratulations. Congratulations are also in order for Letitia. Okay? Keith is home. Keith is home, y'all. He is out of prison after 11 years. Apparently, he is um, allegedly in a um, halfway house. I think on the prison site, he was not going to get out till January and February of 2025. But I think he got released to go into some type of um, halfway house. And then maybe when that term is over, and then I guess I should say when that term is over, he will be, um, you know, able to leave the halfway house and, you know, go home. So... Look, Letitia is over the moon, child. Who wouldn't be? Her man is finally out of prison. We met Letitia doing love during lockup, love after lockup, life after lockup. Honey, Letitia put up some pictures of her. Honey, she's in her, in her sexy wear. I said, okay. Honey, she can't wait till that man gets home. <laughs> How's your oldest daughter? See, that's the that's the question. Now that he's home, mm. congratulations, because I know y'all had a time when he got out, child. <laughs> Honey, I bet you you woke up bow legged, child, and I ain't even I ain't even gonna say nothing. Happy for you. Glad he's out. I hope he can keep it together, child. Let's move on. Haven't talked about him in a while. Y'all, Michael done got arrested. Again. Oh, Lord. Again. 
Now, apparently, he had some type of dispute with his neighbor. Now, this arrest happened July the 5th. Now, during July the 4th, Michael was setting off fireworks. His neighbor said, you can't be setting off in fireworks. Either they were illegal fireworks or the it was getting on the neighbor's nerves, whatever. The neighbor confronted Michael about the fireworks and honey, let the games begin. Michael says, if you don't leave me the F alone, okay? Do you know how many mug shots I got? I'm telling you right now, leave me alone. I'm sick and tired of you. I'm tired of talking to you. I'm not playing with you. If I want to set off fireworks, I sell fireworks. And so the neighbor done went and called 911. So the cops came, and apparently tensions rose, and there was a verbal altercation, and then it led to a physical altercation. This is from um, Sar um, Chasm. Officers made contact with Michael, who was nearby with multiple other people. Based on the threats that were made prior to our arrival, Reasonable suspicion was established to believe that there was a firearm involved, one of the officers explained. As a result, we attempted to pat down the defendant and the other males on scene. At this point, Michael allegedly charged and pushed one of the officers with both hands. Allegedly. Michael, aren't you tired? Aren't you just tired? Aren't you tired of getting arrested? Aren't you tired of the volatile behavior? You're not going to learn. You're just not going to learn. Michael Simmons was booked and charged with felony aggravated battery. Felony aggravated battery on a law enforcement, uh, law enforcement officer and a misdemeanor resistant officer without violence. All of this over fireworks. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't put out the fireworks. I mean, it is 4th of July. People, you know, uh, you know, set off fireworks. But to lead to an arrest when you already have cases, I just, I, I don't get it, y'all. I don't get it. How's your children, Mike? How's your older children? Let's move on. Last and most definitely, definitely least. Now, around six, seven weeks ago, I think, over a month ago, child, I reported and several people reported that Chance Earl had gotten arrested yet again. Why did he get arrested? Oh, well, he got arrested for DV. Allegedly, he pushed, allegedly, he pushed his girlfriend Alyssa from a moving vehicle. Y'all remember that? Now, see, Earl Chance already had charges. From December of 2023. Y'all remember when he went on that little crime spree. Where he was stealing vehicles. Using credit cards. Down there at the gas station. Buying uh, sour cream and onion potato chips. And some you know alcoholic beverage. Or whatever he bought. Okay. So he done went down now. And he done set off all kinds of crime sprees that was involved in a hit and run with injury child. It was a mess. So then we uh, find out that he was. So he had his little girlfriend. He's what? 45, 46 years old. She's what? 22, 23 years old. So be it. So, you know, things moved on, time moved on. You know, because see, if somebody shoves me out of a moving vehicle, I'm out. I'm out. Now, again, I reported on this, I don't know, six, seven weeks ago. 
Remember the timeline. Well, there's something I've been keeping to myself, family, and close friends. And I can say after many confirmations and seeing what I saw today, I'm pregnant. It's been a rough these nine weeks and two days. With low energy and nausea and headaches, but I'm happy. Girl, are you, you happy? Is that right, Alyssa? You happy? I got to see the baby and the little heartbeat flicker along with a heart rate. April 29th is my estimated due date. Even more happy that all this is happening with the love of my life. Chance Pit. Girl, I'm going to need y'all to do this. I'm going to need for you to do this. Now, if you're willing to bring a child into this, I'm going to need for you to do this. Because ain't no way. You mean to tell me that he allegedly pushed you out of a moving vehicle six, seven weeks ago. When we when I reported it. And now you up here saying that you're nine weeks. So. My thinking is. You were pregnant. Allegedly. While you were getting shoved. Out of a moving vehicle. And now you're saying you're happy. And this is the love of your life. Y'all. For you all to help me understand. Because I don't. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand one bit. How is it that you, in your mind, when you are allegedly a victim of DV, she happy, y'all. The love of her life. Isn't there, when did this happen? This happened in Missouri, right? I think it was Missouri, Indiana, whatever. Isn't there protection orders, restraining orders in place? Oh my God. The only thing I'm going to say to this is I wish the baby well. I can't, I can't say anything else, Sasters. I wish the baby well. I pray for that child. Because, honey, the child's parents need this. All right, y'all, that's it. I just wanted to jump in, tell y'all, hey, I hadn't put up a video this week, but that's all right. I got one up today. And then... I just wanted to say I appreciate y'all. And let me just make an announcement. My recap of Love After Lockup will not be up tomorrow. It will be up Sunday. Okay? It will be up Sunday. Alright? Alright, I appreciate y'all. Child, let me get this thing off my head, child. Child, this thing is hot. Ugh! How do, Z, how do you do it, girl? How do you do it? I love y'all. And I will see y'all Sunday for the recap of Love After Lockup. All right? To my new subscribers, welcome to the family, and y'all know what to do. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, friends.